This is Josiah Plays Fallout New Vegas. And we are here at Sloan. We've killed some. We've killed some death claws, a lot of them. And we're back to talk to this guy about the whole situation. Hey. Chomps Lewis. But well, hello again, Mr. Lewis. I've got good news for you. You need something? I killed the Deathclaw mother, and I killed the Deathclaw alpha male. I come from anyone else, I'd say they were drunk or crazy. But that look in your eyes, I believe you. I can pay you, but it ain't much for what you pulled off. I'll get on the ham radio first thing and tell people all about you, though. Oh, I'm accepted with NCR. That's cool. Folks have come to accept you for your helpful nature. Dude, after the number of death claws I just killed, I should be more than accepted. I should be, like, revered as a badass. Anything else to say, Mr. You Lewis? You need something? You're great at rolling. Are ya? <laughs> yep. Yeah, I didn't forget about the death claw, Exeto. I remember. All right, I guess we're done with him. Oh, it's Snuffles. Trouble. Come on. Oh, my reputation is a little bit mixed. All right, we'll go back in time. It never happened. It never happened. See, Snuffles is Snuffles is fine. It never happened. Oh, now I killed him with a shotgun. Oh, what the? Come on. It never happened. It never happened. It honestly never happened. You can talk to him and see how he is. All right. Grenade. Did Snuffles survive the dynamite? <laughs> no, he didn't survive the Oh, I can search him. Look, he's got mole rat meat. Fuck this town. I just went crazy. All right, let's. None of that happened. Okay, let's talk to Snuffles. Snuffle. Oh, how's it going there, Snuffles? Woof. Well, that was useless. Yeah, there's some Chris Avalone writing right here. Goodbye, Snuffles. They don't even care. Yeah, they're like whatever. People throw dynamite around town all the time. Okay, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna wait. You're not even joking, Snuffles was put in by Avalon? Really? Well... Can't get it right all the time. Where is that woman? I thought she'd be outside by now. Oh, that's right. These people sleep in like a motherfucker at this town. These people be lazy in Sloan. Quarry worker. This is the wrong building. There's Veronica, Jazz Wilkins. Hey there, what's new? Oh, nothing. I just came in to say hello. I'll be going now. All right then. Is 
So I've realized at this point my character has turned a corner. Just screwed up the coffee again. Wouldn't drink it if I were you. Snuffle's leg seems to have gotten better. Yeah, I fixed it. She's kind of become an edge lord. After after sniping all those legion guys in cold blood, she's realized that in this world she's got to do what she's got to do to survive. You missed you about that Deathclaw omelette recipe with Jazz. Oh, yeah. Well, it was grayed out, so I thought it was irrelevant. Morning. Hey there. What's new? About that Deathclaw omelette recipe, Jazz, I, uh, I have good news for you. Yeah? I got a Deathclaw egg for you. More than one, in fact. I can't believe you actually got one. Give me a bit to get the recipe set up, then talk to me again. Everything went dark for a second. Oh no, what's happening to my vision? Alright, Jazz. This is incredibly good. Here's your omelette, and the recipe if you ever want to make your own. It takes a bit of skill to get it tasting right. Why, thank you, Jazz. I can't wait to make one for myself. You have a good day now. All right then. I have a mole rat to kill. Not really. Is there a cooking? I guess I can only use fires. I can't use ovens and stuff, which seems a little bit silly, but. Deathclaw is a ridiculously powerful food item. Well, it'd fucking better be, considering how hard it is to get a deathclaw egg. I had to shoot those things like 30 times each at least. Alright. I don't think I had any other little quests or anything here, did I? I don't think I did. Man, this town is bullshit. They give you a recipe to cook a deathclaw omelette and then they don't give you anywhere to cook in town. They don't even have a fire here or anything? What is this shit? Fuck you, Sloane. Sloane sucks. Tin can count? Let's take a look. Tin can count. It's probably only about 180. Tin can count. 181! Ooh, I was really close. 181 tin cans. Not bad. How much am I carrying? 3,348 pounds. I'm deceptively strong. They could have given you disgustingly preserved fish and said, oh yeah, they could have given me ass fish. I like how that guy was selling fish, two for a copper, and he thought he was doing you a favor. He was giving you a reward by giving you two free fish. That's one copper he gave you. <laughs> one copper worth of crappy fish. <laughs> that was awesome. All right. Oh, is there a cooking? Of course, the Deathclaw not. pack leader's dead. I hope we can get back to work soon. Well, get the fuck back to work. The Deathclaws are all dead. I handled it. You may actually reach that limit before getting to New Vegas. Well, we'll see. We'll see. I've never seen a robot like that before. No, no, you haven't. I'm gonna be taking my leave now, Mr. Lewis. I hope you can handle things here on your own now that those death claws are all taken care of. Goodbye. One thing left to do in Sloan, you have to go into the mining office. Besides kill snuffles. Definitely gotta kill some snuffles. Don't make a beggar of me. Oh, right, I forgot about that quest. Don't make a beggar of me. I've gotta search the suitcase for the chemical supply shipment. Yes, indeed. Uh, I wonder if it's in the safe. Oh, there's a suitcase. All that's in there is a carton of cigarettes. Well... 
Ah, check with Chomps about the empty suitcase. Okay. Oh, that's right. This is the quest I'm doing for the uh, Australian Great Con woman. Or might be New Zealander, I'm not sure. That's right. Mr. Lewis, I was you curious something? about something. I was looking for a suitcase filled with chemical supplies for, uh, well, for a friend, you might say. Know anything about that? Ah, uh, yes. I think I know which friend you mean. Even if there weren't death claws in the quarry, there'd still be no delivery. The supplier, a guy in Prim named Tyrone, is a cheating son of a bitch who won't deliver even though he's already been paid in advance. Has Tyrone cheated you before? He's always been shady, but this is the first time he's outright screwed me. Hey son, welcome back. How you doing? Hmm. How do you know Melissa? She's my daughter. Oh, Takes shit. Takes a little too much after her mother, rest her soul. But she's happy with the great cons, and that's enough for me. Oh, yeah, I like your daughter, Chomps Lewis. Um. Okay, she has cool hair. So, I guess you don't care that you're helping the great cons, then. I'm just a middleman. The Great Cons are a hard group, and some of them are no good. But they're not all the same. I believe in the NCR, mm. but that doesn't make it right for them to roll over anyone who doesn't want any part of them. Hashtag not all cons. <laughs> okay. Uh, alright. I'll go pay a visit to this Tyrone fella. Thank you for the information, Mr. Lewis. Good luck. Yeah, I am like Jen. If they have cool hair, they're cool. Unless they're human traffickers. In which case, even cool hair doesn't get them off my shit list. So I need to go back to Prim, huh? Prim is far from here. Prim is so far. So I think I'm gonna just fast travel to Prim. Human trafficking would be a plus for Jen, not a negative. Yeah, probably so. She is kind of a sociopath. I mean, who isn't, right? I mean, obviously I'm a sociopath, but a different kind. Everyone's got to have their own standards. You've done a good turn for the NCR, and now we'd like to do one for you. There's an NCR emergency two-way radio. You call, and we'll come running. You're what? not alone out here. The NCR has your back. Stay safe and good hunting. Why, thank you, Mr. Ranger. What the hell do I do with this radio? NCR radio? What... What does it do? Am I to assume that if I use this out in the middle of nowhere, NCR dudes will just show up and come to my aid? Because that sounds pretty fucking helpful. Can I only use it once? How often can I use it? Very happy your neighbor's party just got rained out. You hear them screaming? Ha 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 ha! Nice, Jen. Fuck them. They can bring supplies. What kind of supplies? Alright, we're back in Prim. We gotta go find this dude. Tyrone. You can use it once, but it will re be replaced as long as the NCR likes you. Oh, well, that's awesome. That's not Tyrone. They've been so loud all afternoon, dicks. Oh, I hate when people are having a party and they're having fun. No, I don't really hate that. But 
I tend to be extremely tolerant to noises and stuff. Like barking dogs, people being loud next door, that kind of stuff. It just almost never bothers me. I tend to uh, just tune it out really well. And a lot of times I don't even notice it in the first place. And somebody else will be like, oh, that noise is driving me crazy. And I'll be like, what noise? Hello. And then I'm like, oh, that noise. Yeah, I didn't even really notice it. Hello. All right. What? What? Where are you at, Tyrone? I don't think Sergeant McGee is Tyrone. I don't think Veronica is. Oh, here's Tyrone. What's up, Tyrone? Need quiet when you're editing? Normally you wouldn't mind. Yeah. I would think you'd need to be able to concentrate on that. That's true. The supplies as well as the quality and quantity of reinforcements will get better as you improve your rep with them. That is really cool. I like that. Alright, Tyrone. I shine my pit boy light in his eyes. You must be Tyrone. I have some questions for you. Hey, hey, what can Tyrone do for you? Well, first of all, you can stop referring to yourself in the third person. At least you're not wearing a douchey beret. I gotta give you that. I'm just wondering what you do here, Tyrone. Just making some deliveries to the troops here in Prim. I'm stationed in California, but I come across the border a couple times a month. But how do you like being part of the NCR military? It's better than farming or herding Brahmin. As long as they don't send me to the front lines, I'm a happy man. Ooh, this dude just talked shit about hurting Brahmin. Oh no, you didn't. A friend in Sloan told me to come to you about some chemical supplies. I think you know what I'm talking about. You trying to get me busted? Keep your damn voice down. Lieutenant Hayes already has his eye on me. Look. I already told Chomps the NCR is getting suspicious of all these misplaced supplies. Bigger risk means bigger cost. 300 caps bigger. Oh, hells to the no. Oh, look at all the cool options I have because I'm super social. I could literally seduce him. I don't really like that idea too much. I could... shake him down or I could shake him down a different way well I sure as fuck am not going to quote come to another arrangement with this greasy motherfucker I mean look my character is not above she's not above using her feminine charms to sway somebody but not this guy this guy referred to himself in the third person. You can't sex this, dude. I say the word, Tyrone. And someone else will start making the deliveries to Nevada, not you. How do you feel about that? I've reconsidered my position. And I think it would be in my best interest if I were to sacrifice my profit on this particular deal. He, he's not hot. He looks fucking weird with his squinty eyes. And his. Does he even have hair? What's going on with his head? Look at him. He looks weird as fuck. There's just no way. This guy looks like a pedophile priest or something. Well, thank you very much, Tyrone. Now, be best if you don't tell anybody about this. In before the seduce boon movement? Movement. There's not going to be a seduce boon movement. Jen says just close your eyes. No, I don't think so. Hey, hey, you're back. Not this dude. Goodbye, Tyrone. Later. So now my quest says... Go back to Melissa. Oh yeah, I like Melissa. I would take her as a companion if she was available. I like punk Australian women. 
Can't go wrong with that. She's also got that whole dirty thing going on, which I like. Because I'm a weirdo. Alright, I'm out of here. You're not gonna narc? Why the fuck would I narc? Let's talk to Sergeant McGee anyway. What is it? Goodbye. Ma'am? No. Why would I narc? Just saying you could. No, I don't see myself doing that. What I do see myself doing is going back to Sloan. Or back to the Quarry Junction, I guess. There better not be new death claws here. I'm not going to be amused. Okay, I mean, there's still some over that way, probably. But, yeah, look at all these dead death claws that I slayed with my great and awesome slaying power. I am the Death Claw Murderer. Die, Death Claws. Die, Death Claws. I didn't know you could fast travel directly to Melissa. Really? Oh, Great Con Encampment is a thing. I didn't realize that. Dead Claws, that's right. It's okay. I'll just run through here looking upon the carnage that I have wrought. More carnage. Alpha male, dead. That guy took so many fucking bullets to kill. It was not even funny. Wrong chat is always wrong. Yeah, gotta watch out for that. Boy, did I have some embarrassing mishaps with wrong chat when I was, used to play MMOs all the time, uh, socially, and I would be sending whispers back and forth to multiple people. There were some, there were some unfortunate mistells that occurred. <laughs> What's up, Great Con? Oh, your friend's cute. Is she single? Well, I don't know. Are you single, Veronica? Her silence means not only no, but hell no, and her and her power fist will crush your face. But thank you for asking. Am I even going the right way? She's up there, right? How do I even get up to her? You could ask her yourself, yeah. She's a lesbian, huh? Well, that sounds... promising. My character is a lady of... a very... flexible... attractions. Hey, it's a campfire. I can make omelets now. Omelets. Omelets. I can't make them apparently because I don't have whatever. Death Claw Omelet? Wait, did I skip it? What's it called? Rose's Wasteland Omelet? That must be it. Or is it something else? Weapon binding ritual? The hell is that? Is it Rose's Wasteland Omelette? Because that does require a Death Claw egg. But it also requires Lake Lurk meat. Rose's Wasteland Omelette, okay. So that's why I can't make them, because I don't have Lake Lurk meat.
What, what's the problem here? Your friend's cute. Is she single? Listen. I'm getting asked that a lot. Why am I not cute? What about me? I'm cute. I'm not gonna lie to myself about my love for Boone because there is no Boone. Here's Melissa with her wild hair. Well, hello, Melissa. It's lovely to see you again. What do you want now? Well, I have good news. I brought you some cams. The ones you wanted. You actually came through for us. I didn't expect that. Anyway, the Great Khans pay their debts and don't forget their friends. If you ever come out to Red Rock Canyon, I'll put in a good word for you. Well, thank you, Melissa. Now, I am looking for some Great Khans who stole something from me in Good Springs. As I mentioned before. As far as I know, it's just me and my crew out here. And if it really was Great Khans who mugged you, they didn't come this way. I'd have seen them. That's what you said last time. I thought maybe your story might have changed since I helped you out, but apparently you really don't know anything. Well then, I suppose it's time for me to go. Hope to see you again. Don't leave a trail. I leveled up. Let's get some lockpicking. I think I can leave lockpicking alone at 70, right? Survival. Some sneak. Who was that? That was Melissa. Energy weapons. Son, are you ERPing? Are you ERPing while watching my stream? <laughs> uh, I'm not gonna lie, I might have, I might have ERPed once. Or... Yeah, that's the kind of bad mistells, though. I remember one time somebody was doing an erotic roleplay, and they accidentally posted this huge long paragraph in our guild chat. And like 60 people were online and saw it. It was amazing. It was one of the best moments ever. That's the magic of MMOs right there. Man, she was mortified after that. Yeah, I know. Melissa's great, right? Yeah, it's awkward when you accidentally send that kind of message to some... To the wrong person. It's very awkward. Alright. Um... If only Melissa was abusive to you, she'd be your idea. Well, well, I don't necessarily need her to be abusive. Although, abusive can be okay. Your friend's cute. Is she single? Ask that shit one more time, motherfucker. Hello. She could just be standoffish, that's fine. Hey, wait, can I make any of those other things that I like to make. Fiery purgative. And what about those tourniquet things? Looks like I can't. Prison time. You were playing Neverwinter Nights Persistent World. This girl I knew accidentally sexted the party. We laughed pretty hard. That sounds pretty good. That's always good times. It really is. Well, I guess I'm done with that mission. And it's time to go look for this sheriff that's at the prison.
I do like exploring the perimeter of things before I go in. That wasn't even meant as any kind of double entendre either. Alright, the... Oh, that's the Repcon headquarters. The prison's to the south. I'm gonna go here. Anything new to say, Veronica? Probably not. What's up? Uh, nothing for now, Veronica. We'll talk later. See you around. What's up, Powder Gangers? Now, th now there's a fine-looking woman. Just needs to ditch the road. Why is everyone hitting on Veronica? You and I have got nothing to talk about. Dynamite. You and I have got nothing to talk about. Well, I'm assuming there's going to be mines and explosives. Dynamite and all that kind of stuff. Things that go boom. Didn't I already read this note when I was at this camp before? You eyeballing me? Pretty sure I already read this note. But I'll read it again. The note reads, not many patrols out here lately, which means not much loot. Our crew is thinking we should make a move soon. Follow the tracks up north, head towards the strip. You in? Ain't on the chain gang anymore, but we still gotta stick together. Never gets old. All right, here we go. Veronica is Felicia Day, though, Jen. How do you not love Felicia Day? Oh, hey, it's one of those fucking things. In an amazing display of marksmanship, Rio, the Desert Wanderer. Guns down a bloat fly with great ease with a single shot. And then decides to give this one a chance by toying with it. By shooting near it several times. I gave it a chance. We're gonna probably give this one a chance, too. <laughs> Giving it a chance. Yeah, Felicite is the best. Have you ever watched her stream? If you're not following her on Twitch, you really should be. Cause she doesn't stream that often, but when she does, she's fucking hilarious. Can't laugh too hard as fucking Valinar decided to be incompetent on that roof. She has kids now? I didn't know that. That's amazing. Can you imagine if your mom was Felicia Day? She's just so zany. And weird, you know what I mean? It would be it would be strange being scolded by Felicia Day. <laughs> I know she's in Dragon Age. She plays that, like, elf assassin lady character. Play. Play what? Dragon Age? A terrible live action show? I don't think I've seen that. Alright, that must be the prison, obviously.
We've got lights. We've got towers. We've got a pretty serious looking fence. Just one fence though. So this is not a maximum security prison. Because a maximum security prison always has more than one fence. Unless this did have another fence and it's just been torn down or whatever. Oh yeah, because there's another fence all the way back here with barbed wire at the top of it. Barbed wire instead of razor wire? Amateur hour. It's so easy to get past barbed wire. It is not easy getting past razor wire. That's, that's not a thing you can really do unless you take like something big and heavy to throw over the top of it like a rug or something get a rug or you know like a bunch of bedding layers and layers of bedding and throw it over the top of the razor wire so that you can scramble up over it without slicing the shit out of yourself a north camp and an east camp you can visit before going in are these guys going to be on... Oh, they're not shoot on sight. I can see they're not hostile on the map down there. So let's go visit some camps. As we carefully, carefully approach. We'll go to this north camp first. Hey, can I get some jalapenos? Yeah. What was the name of the live action show that you're talking about? I mean, I remember hearing about it, but I never watched it. South Camp 2, but it's quest related, so I guess I shouldn't go there yet. Is that what you're saying? Well, I don't see any... <gasps> Motherfucker! I just said, well, I don't... I don't see any mines yet. And then I heard the beeping, and it was too late to do anything about it. It was too late. See my crippled leg. I never fucking see the no. mines. It was right in front of me. How could I have possibly not seen it? Was it buried or something? How could I have possibly not seen these mines? Now I'm super vigilant, like, carefully looking for mines, but they're probably still gonna get me. Don't watch the live action until after or just before playing the DLC, it reveals some stuff? Okay. Alright. Oh, hey, I could heal myself right here. Let's wait until morning. You can target the mines in vats to find them. Oh, really? I forgot how to even use vats. Is it V? I always forget to use vats, too, in this game. There's some vats. Dogs. Who left these dogs out? Who, 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 who? Well, we don't know that they're bloodthirsty. That's profiling. Besides, I have Veronica and Ed to guard me. And even if Veronica also sleeps, Ed doesn't have to sleep, so he can guard us. And as soon as he sees anybody approaching, he'll start playing that loud-ass music, so he's kind of the perfect sentry when you think about it. 
Ooh, iguana on a stick. But is it really iguana? Or is the iguana on a stick made of people? I'll take an outfit. I'll take some dynamite. They tried to ma- Hold on, somebody tried to massacre all of Good Springs. It might not have been these particular powder gangers that are here now. In fact, the ones who tried to massacre Good Spring are all dead. That might have been the violent splinter faction that broke off from the ordinarily peace-loving powder gangers that live here at the prison. We don't know. Is this... Are these trailers which you were calling the northern camp? Or is there a camp even further north from here that I should be going to? Still looking for mines. Even when I look for mines, I never find them. Oh, I see. There's a big camp over there. Got it. Guess I don't... Well, I'll have a better chance of s s detecting mines in time if I go a little slower. There's some powder gangers. See, they look quite peaceful as they stalk by with their <laughs> weapons. Seriously? I wasn't even near that mine. What the fuck? I can't even see these mines and all of a sudden they're explodings on me. I can't even see them. It's not fair. These mines are fucking me up. Alright, what's this guy doing? You're not exactly making friends around here, are you? Well, I'm, I'm kind of. I saved... I saved those powder gangers that were... You and I have got nothing to talk you about. You eyeballing me? You eyeballing well, me? Hello! That's a lovely mask you have there, sir. Damn, running low on smokes again. Wouldn't mind having one of those little flying robots myself. You eyeballing well, me? My flying robot is not for sale. You don't mind if I take a little nap here, do you? My flying robot will obliterate you if you try to mess with me when I'm sleeping. And somehow that one hour nap completely healed my crippled legs from landmines. If only it was so simple in real life. I found another note, guys. I found another note. The note reads, Some of the fellows farther north are trying to organize. We're starting to think it's a good idea. Got to pool resources if we're going to survive out here. Sure you've noticed the decline in travelers. They're getting wise, so should we. Hmm. I don't like the implications of what I just read. It sounds to me like they're robbing travelers. Any lawman that comes after me won't have it easy. Yeah, well, I don't think you need to worry about whoop whoop, this is the sound of the police anytime soon. So, that's one camp. Hashtag Sato's fault. No, I don't want to shoot dogs. Your body is falling apart. I'm not even 35. What do you mean it's falling apart? Do you have leprosy? That'd be kind of cool. That'd be edgy. There are powder charges. So, what are you saying? They're buried? Tin cans packed with... Are they buried? Because I haven't seen a single fucking one before it went off. Or are they, do they, are they like a little mound or something? Oh, they look like tin cans. 
I still don't think I've seen anything that looked like a tin can. Some of them are probably hiding in bushes and stuff like this. Which is some bullshit. Okay, we're going this way. Trying to avoid mines. So why are you falling apart, Jen? What, what's the problem? I don't see shit that looks like a mine ahead of me. Or a tin can, or a mound, there's some blood here. So if one of those fuckers goes off right now, I'm calling bullshit. Hey guys. Now there's a fine looking woman. Just needs to ditch the road. I don't appreciate your comments, sir. Damn, running low on smokes again. Tin plate, empty whiskey bottles. They got all kinds of junk here that they... <coughs> that they don't know what to do with. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, I just took a spork. I don't even care. Some beer, some radex. Why don't they? Why don't they want this stuff? Don't they realize they've got valuable things here? Like rat eggs? Never gets old when something blows up. Tin, tin can. Some buff out. A tin can! Yay! Never gets old when something blows up. This guy looks a little bit crazy. I don't see any notes at this camp. I do like to find a note here and then. Any lawman that comes after me won't have it easy. I don't know the leprosy song that you're quoting. And before we learn, Rio is actually British trying to do a Western accent. I like the idea that Rio doesn't actually have a South Carolina accent she's just pretending because she thinks it makes her sound more disarming or something but really she's just from California and <laughs> that's a great idea we're making that canon sitting at desks for 12 hours a day is apparently very bad for your back shoulders wrists etc ah yeah, that's what they've been telling me. So far, I haven't had any ill effects, but I suspect that I will before long. Did not know there was a leprosy song. This isn't a camp? Oh, I thought that was a camp in that cave. Where's the actual camp, then? Is it up here? I'm about to hear beep, 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 boom. Up here. Please don't explode me mines. Please don't explode me mines. Your wrists are fucked, you can't use a mouse. Oh, hey now. Calm down. Let's talk about this, Bark Scorpion. It almost got me. Where the fuck are my people? That does suck, Chad. 
I mean, do you have like carpal tunnel syndrome or, or whatever? Or is it something more serious than that? Up that cliff is Black Mountain. Okay, cool. I'm still in caution mode here. Called Leprosy by the band Death. The name of the band is just Death? That is pretty fucking edgelord-tastic. I don't see any other reds on my map, though. You have the equivalent in your knees. Man, that's a bummer, guys. It's a bummer. I feel very fortunate in that my health is actually very good other than my mental illness problems my physical health is very good I've never had really any physical ailments to speak of any injuries I've had were minor and healed up quickly and easily with no lasting effects NCR correctional facility Damn it, I wasn't looking the proper way. Okay, hold on. We're going this way. The east camp is further south than the south camp. Yeah, this east camp is pretty fucking southy. What's this? Oh! Oh, damn it. As soon as I walked over, I thought, oh, that looks like it might be one of those mines. I was trying to press the button to disarm it, but instead I just let it blow up in my face. I just let it blow up in my face. You're a collection of brokenness? I've always been really lucky with my health and just in general, I've always been kind of unbreakable. Like I always have things that happen to me that should hurt me really badly. Like they should, I should break bones or whatever from falling off of things or getting into accidents or getting beat up or whatever. And I never got a broken bone from any of those things even though I totally should have. So, my friends back in the day used to say that I was unbreakable, which obviously is not literally true. I'm not like a fucking superhero or something. I'm sure my bones are in fact breakable, but so far they've proven to be very resilient, as, as has all of my connective tissue, cartilage, ligaments, tendons, all that stuff. I've never injured any of that. Not from playing sports, not from running, not from getting into fights, not from anything. So lucky me. But, who knows when that will change, right? Who knows when that will change? I don't even get sick. I mean, I've gotten sick in my life, more, you know, several times, but I haven't been sick in years and years. I can honestly say I don't even remember the last time, but it was at least seven years ago, if not eight. I mean, I haven't even gotten a little bit sick. Nope, not a cold, not a, not a anything. Well, there's red dots over here, so there's obviously something unpleasant. I think I see where the camp is, though, because I can see the... Your toes are fucked, your left ankle is fucked, your ribs are fucked, your collarbones are fucked, your knees are fucked. Wow, that sounds pretty bad, man. I'm sorry, that sounds pretty miserable. Are you, like, in constant pain? Bunch of stuff south of the prison you can explore first if you want. Will it benefit me to explore it first? In terms of when I go to the prison? Because if not, I'll just wait. Looking for another camp. Maybe you're Bruce Willis from that movie. Yeah, I don't think I am. Well, that guy, he had like super strength and shit. I don't have super strength. I'm not very strong. I'm just, for some reason, really resilient. physical trauma for some reason well I mean it could just oh I see it this time I fucking see it 
Yeah, disarmed it like a boss. I see another one. Oh, I see another one. I see another one. I see another one. Wait, who the fuck are these guys? Who are we fighting? I mean, I see some dudes over there. It looks like they're... Are they Legion? I see another one. I am the master of minds now. I am Mom. Friends of WG the Immortal Viking. You have a tendency to get really badly hurt and still pull through. Well, that's good. I mean, pulling through is good. I just don't really get hurt at all, and I don't know why. So what are these assholes doing over here? Like, literally, what are these assholes doing? Besides running around like weirdos. Oh, those guys aren't hostile. They're not hostile to me. Even though they are asshole legion dudes. Oh, he's an assassin. Is he gonna... What's he gonna do? Apparently he doesn't want to attack me. Because he just ran up to me, checked me out, and left. Best assassin ever. Best assassin ever. Are you weak to water? Do you have a friend who is in a wheelchair and unable to speak at a volume less than a shout? No, actually. None of those things. You are in constant pain? Oh man, that sucks. I'm sorry for you. What are these assholes even doing? Seriously. I think they're bugged. Yay, unofficial patch. Solved everything. It's just you're right nearby. Your teeth are fucked. Oh, my teeth are perfect. I mean, they don't look perfect. They're a little bit crooked or whatever, but like they've, I've never had a cavity in my entire life. You have defied Kaisar for the last time. Your life ends now. Oh. Another kill to my name. I'm getting mad infamy now. Now I'm hated. I think I gotta roll with it, Saito. At this point. But how am I hated if I killed these guys and there's no witnesses to go back to the other Legion and tell them? That's the thing that's kind of dumb. I got some honey mesquite though. It's your fault. <gasps> Saito just admitted something was his fault. This is a breakthrough. Everybody congratulate Saito on this wonderful breakthrough of honesty. That's the first step, Saito. Now you can get the help you need. Wait, was there only two of them? Because I'm only seeing two dead bodies. Legion Vexillarius armor. Okay. Oh, no, I see three. But I thought there were four of them. Was there was there four? Because I don't see a fourth body. Did it got you to reload when you were at Shund? Ah. Uh, well, I'm just going to roll with it, and if I can't... I'll miss a lot of cool shit. Well, I don't want to miss a lot of cool shit. So maybe I should just fix it with the console. Alright, how do I fix it with the console, Saito? Tell me, tell me how to do it. You're not exactly making friends around here, are you? I'm about to be making corpses, son. Not Sun Ganef. Well, 
Oh, a bone saw. A lunchbox. Kneeling powder. A wrench. An empty syringe. Multiple. Medex. Perfectly unbent tin can. Some bottles. All the goodies you could ever want. A dead body in a shopping cart. Powder ganger. Wouldn't mind having one of those little flying robots myself. Well, too bad. You don't get one. Any lawman that comes after me won't have it easy. Well, I'm glad the camera had to dramatically zoom in for that little statement of excellent articulation. Why don't these guys care if I'm taking... I mean, especially shit like Rat X and Purified Water. You would think they would Wouldn't really mind want that. one of those little flying robots myself. All right, now I'm going to take a nap again because I blew myself up with mines. I'm sleeping for 11 hours. Let's see. Give you an example. August when I was 13. Oh, Give you an example, Og, i.e. Jen. When I was Damn, 13, I got jumped by a... Again. Well, now the chat has scrolled so far that I can't see what was being said without alt-tabbing. And if I alt-tab, you guys are going to hear why the reason that's bad. You hear that? Squad car full of frustrated officers. Basically left me where they found me. I was so injured I couldn't stand. Six broken ribs and a fractured skull when I got to the hospital. That's crazy. That really sucks. Oh, then Saito tells me how to do it. You messed it up. Need to actually look this up. Saito admitting it's his fault twice in one night. Next, Nox is going to jump over the moon. Right? It's crazy town up in here. I've been beaten badly multiple times, but not with, like, weapons. I mean, were you, you were you beaten with, like, clubs or nightsticks or something? I've never actually been beaten with, with hard objects, just with fists and feet. And somehow managed never to get a broken bone in any of those encounters. Uh, alright, player set reputation for... Alright, are you sure? I'm not about to fuck my game up here, am I? Nightsticks and boots, okay. Yeah, nightsticks are dangerous. Anything like that be hitting you is really dangerous. A lot more dangerous than a fist. Alright, I'm trying to figure out how to do this. I type in player... Period... No space... Set... Reputation... Space F four three D D space zero space zero. I did it. Did it work? Let's find out. I got Rose's Wasteland Omelette. Where's um Oh, now there's nothing even remotely listed for the for the Legion, so it must have completely wiped out my reputation with them entirely. What's that other one do, Saito? The player set enemy thing. Beaten with nightsticks and boots. What is what does that other one do that you posted? You were punched at a fish market. Yeah, you were terribly beaten by Saito's character for no good reason. It was just it was just cow abuse. Changes them from being hostile. I'm actually not sure if you need it. That changes them from being hostile? Because it looks like it would make them hostile. If I'm setting enemy and I'm using one, which is typically the number for activating something, I don't know. Cow abuse, hashtag Saito's fault, right? Sun says, I was on my way to a dope dealer who lived a few yards away from where it happened. 
The police had just raided him with no result. They saw a punk in a dark alley and took their frustrations out on me. That's... That's fucked up. I had no idea the police in Denmark were that fucked up and corrupt and violent. I mean, that sounds like some shit that would happen to you in Los Angeles or Texas or New York or something here where we have some some super violent cops, but especially if you were the wrong color. I never would have imagined Denmark police acting that way. They were pretty out of control back then. Back 89, 90. 89? You must have been pretty fucking young. Like 12 years old? 12 or 13? Got rained in dramatically after 93 where the police opened fire at 500 youths. Wow. You were 13. Wow, so they did that. Not only did they do that to somebody, they did that to a kid? Jesus, those are some bad cops. Like, worse than normal cops. Just leave it for now and see when you run into Legion. If they get pissed with you, I can, I can fix it or whatever. Got rained in dramatically. Okay, all right. Well, we've rested, right? We're, at, we're back to full health. I didn't find a note at this camp either, unfortunately, which bums me out because I like reading notes. We killed some Legion assassins. And it's time to go on our merry way to the actual prison now. But that's going to have to be in our next episode because I need to end this one. But if you're watching the stream, don't go anywhere because I'm not done playing. If you're watching on YouTube, this episode is now at an end, so thank you for watching. This has been Josiah Plays Fallout New Vegas.